Hello. Thank you for joining me for Noonday Prayer. We begin on page 103 of the Book of Common Prayer. O Lord, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please join me in reading Psalm 130. Out of the depths have I called to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears consider well the voice of my supplication. If you, Lord, were to note what is done amiss, O Lord, who could stand? For there is forgiveness with you. Therefore you shall be feared. I wait for the Lord. My soul waits for him. In his word is my hope. My soul waits for the Lord. For more than the watchman in the morning, or more than the watchman in the morning, O Israel, wait for the Lord. For with the Lord there is mercy, with him there is plenteous redemption, and he shall reign with Israel from all their sins. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. A reading from 1 Peter, from the fourth chapter, verses 12 through 14. Dear friends, do not be taken aback by the fiery ordeal which is come to test you, as though it were something extraordinary. On the contrary, it is so far as it gives you a share of Christ's suffering, you should rejoice, and when his glory is revealed, your joy will be unbounded. If you are reviled for being Christians, count yourselves happy, because the Spirit of God in all of its glory, rest upon you. Thanks be to God. As we move through the pandemic, church is being called essential by some, and they're saying we need to open our doors despite the reservations from some in the health community. I too believe that church is essential, but I also believe that practicing faith does not always require a building in which to do so. Church is not just a building. Sure, we want to come back together when it is safe. For we miss being in a loving togetherness as a community. But a community can continue to be strong in the faith, even without walls surrounding us. We can be become and be church without walls. Today we come together virtually and we pray. We continue to practice the teachings of the church by being compassionate, caring, and placing our trust in God for our renewed strength and hope. 
we pray for and reach out to each other and the sick. We pray for those who died and their families. Church is not about outward appearance, but how and how we look and act. But church is about how we look inside, deep within our soul. As we live and we are sustained by the ever-present and everlasting love of God. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I give to you, my own peace I leave with you. Regard, regard not our sins, but the faith of your church. And give to us the peace and the unity of the heavenly city, where with the Father and the Holy Spirit you live and reign now and forever. Amen. Loving God, giver of life and health, comfort and relieve all who suffer this day of the COVID-19 virus, and give your power of healing to those who minister to their needs so they may be strengthened in their weakness and have confidence in your loving care. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.